right tonight. And I'll give the Lord something special. Hallelujah. The song that I've chosen to bless us out here tonight is right now, I have everything. Hallelujah. I don't think he's really missing anything. All that the world have to offer is scraps and debts. It might look very enticing to many. Amen. But to the man that chose heavenly things, the glory of God is his standard. Come on, somebody. Is that all right? The price he pays that the glory of God would be made manifested for the thousands and thousands of people. He has just found everything. Come on, somebody. Right now, I have every, everything. But heartaches and sorrow I was seeking for fortune and fame All I had was doubts and confusion Drive. 
and soon enough you're preparing for eternity and you ask yourself all of my life I've lived alone I have five children four children ten children is this what I have to offer for the Lord of eternity because where I'm going I can take nothing with me from this world nothing you came with and nothing you leave with come on somebody am i speaking to someone tonight so all this great achievements that you have and all the fun fair and all the enjoyment and the entertainment still means nothing you know what you're going to carry with you to eternity you're going to carry your memories you're going to carry the good times you're going to carry the bad times you're going to carry your failures. Are you still here tonight? And you're going to carry your rejections. But what are you taking with you? When we sing, I have everything. We have Jesus. We have eternity. We have eternal life. Come on, somebody. It begins right here and right now. And this is what we're going to take with Jesus. When he comes to meet us, come on somebody, we are going to eternity, come on somebody. So we are preparing here for eternity. Is that all right? Are you still here tonight? That's the reason why the prophet is here. To give you eternal values. To change your mind from the things of the fun fear of this life. That you might have a sound life at the end of it all. Come and give the Lord something more tonight. Hallelujah. And I say good night and greetings to our apostle and prophet of this house and the leadership. Um, I can identify with Sister Kelly just now. The, 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 the people, the family is is um, of of his. Uh, when she said he's hard on her, I can identify with that because it's supposed to be harder on the immediate family. Um, I heard um, um, Apostle said when he, even last week he was talking about the presence of God and the glory. Now, if we don't have the presence of God and the glory in our lives, it's like we have Ichabod. We don't have God direct in our life. It's like the Ark of Covenant in those days. Today, and even he was preaching last week, I remember, the, the, this, he said the Bible would be just as a book. A lot of people would go and just open the book, open the Bible, and there's nothing behind it. Right? The Word of God comes with power. And it's supposed to do something. And if you don't have it manifesting in a church, what it is? You know, and this is what they hear when they say that they heard something when he's praying because it's genuine. Amen. It's something. He has something. Amen. And when we honor him, some people say we honor in a man. It's not a man. It's a God in the man. Amen. And as his father was saying, what is like when he when he le left school and, and they thought he was that something is wrong, right? He had the call upon his life. Many of us, we might not have to leave school or work, but we got to answer the call, and he answered that call. And I choose Potter's hand, because I wanted to remember the Potter's hand always in his life. So this is my song tonight. I, I even want to thank you for the many prayers for our family. We are grateful.
From Deliverance Temple International, where my pastor is no other than Dr. Michael Lewis. Uh, and tonight, I take this opportunity to salute uh, the Apostle, Apostle Clyde, uh, Peter Martinez, Amen, uh, and Prophet Junior Martinez on tonight, Amen. I thank God for the First Lady, Miss Martinez, Amen. I thank God for the ministers and all uh, members of the, who are part of the leadership on tonight. I take this opportunity also to greet this congregation and all in the name that is above every name. That is the name of our Lord and Savior and soon coming King Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Very quickly I'm in the book of Matthew on tonight. Matthew chapter 10 verse 41 Praise the name of Jesus. If you have your Bibles, please follow with me. Praise the name of Jesus. I really thank God for Prophet Junior on tonight. Amen. A man who has truly been an inspiration in my life. Amen. When I look at the way he lived a sanctified life. Amen. A man that shows that he's separated from the world. But separated unto the things of God. And how he dedicated his life and the love that he has for souls. Amen. Praise the name of Julie. Jesus is truly, truly an inspiration. Amen? Why don't you put your hands together for him tonight? Matthew chapter 10, verse 41. And it reads as thus. 
he that receiveth a prophet in the name of the prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man reward. Amen? Praise the name of Jesus. And we truly thank God uh, for this prophet tonight. Amen? And the person uh, of Prophet Junior. And here, the word of God, Christ speaking with his disciples. Amen? He was putting things in order and he began uh, to speak with them. Amen? Uh, hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. And he started to tell them some things. Amen? Uh, praise the name of Jesus. Uh, concerning the kingdom and concerning the purpose of uh, that he is here, amen, uh, praise the name of Jesus, and he told them that he didn't came to bring peace on earth, amen, but to cause uh, division, amen, and he started to tell them about, uh, if, uh, hallelujah, you love your mother, your mother and your father more than him, amen, that you are not fit uh, for the kingdom, and then he reached to the point where he started to expound to them that he that receiveth a prophet, uh, in the name of a prophet, uh, shall receive a prophet reward, amen, uh, Hallelujah. We know that the word of God is truth. Amen. amen. God has, there's no one that God could swear by. Amen. Huh? But he swear and he stand up over his word to perform it. Amen. He said that heaven and earth may pass away, but not one jot, not one tittle shall pass from his word. But until all be fulfilled. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. So if God said it, amen, it is so. And he says here that he that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. Notice that, uh, hallelujah, that even in the, the, the Beatitudes, amen, uh, hallelujah, he mentioned, amen, that blessed are the peacemakers. But when he was finished mentioning all the different Beatitudes, he said that he that do it will be blessed in this life and in the life to come, amen. So if you appreciate it, if you honor a prophet, amen, uh, or if you receive a prophet, amen, I want to let you know that you'll be blessed in this life and in the life to come. God is no man's debtor. Amen. Amen? And we cannot outgive God. Amen? But I want to let you know that we are blessed for our obedience and our righteous living. Amen? Amen? Some people take men of God for granted. Amen? They treat them with scant courtesy. Amen? Amen? And God had a problem with that even far back as Moses. Amen? When Miriam and Aaron, amen, when they dishonored Moses and we see that God was so angry because, amen, they dishonored Moses that even Miriam, his sister, was striked up with uh, leprosy, amen, uh, hallelujah, and, and sometimes we see people treat men and women of God, amen, uh, in, in, with scant courtesy, amen, but we want to learn to appreciate the man of God. We want to learn to appreciate the, pop, the apostle. We want to learn to appreciate uh, the prophet. Amen. This is not of man, but it's of God. Amen. It's not of man, but it's of God. Sometimes we can think it's of man. Amen. But I'm here to remind you tonight, this is of God. And even in Jesus day, amen, ha, hallelujah, even in, in, his, in his neighborhood, the tongue that he was from, amen, ha, hallelujah, they dishonored him, amen, and he said that the prophet uh, is not without honor, but in his own home tongue, amen, ha, why, because they look after him, they discern him uh, after the flesh, amen, ha, and they ask among themselves, isn't this not uh, the carpenter's son, so, this man is God manifest in the flesh. And here people, that are, besides all the miracles he has been working, all the mighty works that he has been working, uh, hallelujah, near and far, right in his own hometown, they are saying, isn't this not the carpenter's son? That tells me that in the manner in which you see your man of God, amen, uh, hallelujah, that is the level he will be able to help you. Because those who saw Jesus as a carpenter's son, probably the only help that they could have get or benefit from is probably if they wanted a stool or a table made, amen. 
But if they saw him as the son of the living God, amen. Uh, hallelujah. Those that, uh, that need deliverance, those that need healing, those uh, that are sick with demons, amen. Uh, they would have surely get uh, their de deliverance, amen. So it's important uh, that we get this fact, uh, hallelujah, that the prophets are gifted from God. Amen? Amen. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 8 that when he, that is Christ, when he ascended on high he led captives a host of captivity and give, and give gifts unto men. Amen. amen. This is Christ doing. He is the one, amen, when he died and he ascended, amen. He led captivity captives, amen, and he gave gifts uh, unto men. Amen. And the Bible tells us, amen, that he gives some apostles, uh, some prophets, some evangelists, uh, some pastors, and some teachers. God is the one uh, that has given this gift. Amen. And the person of a prophet junior amen and this gift is not a gift uh, hallelujah like like somebody talented in something amen uh, but the prophet himself is the gift amen god has given a gift to the body of christ amen praise the name of jesus and just like when someone give you a gift christmas is coming amen uh, hallelujah you the recipient will appreciate it uh, and no doubt you will express gratitude uh, for receiving such a gift uh, but how much more shall we show that appreciation and express that gratitude uh, that god will think it fit to give us a gift in the person of prophet junior amen we must learn to appreciate the gift of god it is not of man but is of god praise the name of jesus and psalm 18 23 put it this way all that you have seen all that you have heard amen all the testimonies all the miracle that you have witnessed is not of man hallelujah but psalms 8 118 23 says uh, in, in this way amen said it this way that this is the lord's doing and it's marvelous in our eyes praise the name of jesus we must not take uh, the ministry of the prophets for granted in time of old amen prophets were men that god raised up in time of uh, declension and apostasy in israel amen uh, that they will go every time that uh, israel will depart from the way of god they will go and call them back they will bid them to turn from their wicked ways uh, and come back unto god amen it will follow a promise or some consequences amen that if you return to me i will return to you amen uh, but we know israel Israel, amen. Ha. They were stiff neck, amen. Ha. Hallelujah, praise. In some cases, they even killed ha, the prophets. And we know that God said, uh, Hallelujah, touch not his anointing, nor do his prophets no harm. Praise the name of Jesus. But the ministry of the prophets, uh, Hallelujah, praise the name of, the, of Jesus, uh, is a very demanding uh, on the life of the individual that is called into the office. Of the prophet number one there's a very strong anointing on that individual life amen and to maintain that anointing uh, it takes a lot of prayer and fasting it takes a lot of sacrifice amen uh, what others could do amen uh, you now are restricted amen because you want to hear from God not for yourself uh, but on behalf of the people amen so the anointing is very strong and there's a great mandate and responsibility amen, amen. amen. on the life and the ministry of a prophet amen. amen and Jeremiah the Lord said it this way behold I have put my words in thy mouth amen, amen. praise the name of Jesus the prophet is one uh, is the mouthpiece of God in the earth he's the one that speaks on behalf of God amen, amen. then he continued in verse uh, 10 saying see I have this day set thee over the nations a prophet is set over nations uh, hallelujah a prophet is also set over kingdoms uh, hallelujah to root out and to pull down and to destroy uh, 
and to throw down and to build and to plant. Amen. And so, amen, on the national level, amen, sometimes international, praise the name of Jesus, hallelujah, regional, amen, even in the community and in the life of the believers, amen, the prophet has called, amen, to pull down some things, to root up some things, amen, that the enemy has planted in your life, amen, to destroy the works of enemy in your life, to throw down, amen, and to build up, amen, and to plant some things in your life, amen. The prophets of old, they would have speak, uh, amen, uh, hallelujah, from the standpoint of the law, amen. When the children of Israel uh, have done something wrong or break uh, the law of God, amen, uh, they would let them know that there is consequences, amen, because under the law, sin paid wages. Uh, but we thank God for this, uh, hallelujah, dispensation of grace, amen, uh, that now the prophet, they, they, they operate, amen, uh, under grace, uh, so God uh, anoints them to see the divine treasures in us. Amen. So most of the time they will approach you and let you know that God, hallelujah, have his hands on your life. They will let you know what is your full of potential if you serve God. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. And so when they speak into your life, amen. Hallelujah. They are sowing seeds in your life. When you have called them to build and to plant. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh, 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 Hallelujah. So we don't want to have a spirit of dishonor. Amen. Amen. But we want to have a spirit of honor tonight. Amen. And from henceforth. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. And, and, and honor is a virtue. Amen. Amen. And out of honor you have a gratitude. Amen. Amen. Out of this honor you have ingratitude. Amen. Hallelujah. But we want to be a people uh, that is have gratitude today that knows how to honor the man and the woman of God. Amen. Amen. In the book of Amos, uh, Amos chapter 3 verse 7, it says it this way, Surely the Lord God does nothing unless he reveals his secret to his servants, the prophet. Can you imagine that? How highly esteemed the prophet that God will do nothing. God will not venture to do anything in the earth unless he first reveal it to his servants, the prophet. Amen. Amen. The prophet is not to be taken for granted. Amen. We must not slight them. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. God has blessed us. He has given gift. Amen. It's a gift that we must treasure. Amen. We must not look and judge him on the outward. Amen. But we must be able to see the spirit of God. Amen. That is operated in his life. Amen. That is how we get our breakthrough. Amen. That is how God mash up the plans of the enemy. Amen. Hallelujah. That when you're coming the prayer line. Amen. You're coming and you're praying knowing that this is a man of God. That God has Call for such a time like this, amen. And he have commissioned him for this end time, commissions and assignment, amen. amen. Hallelujah. You truly have a man of God in your midst, amen. amen. And you need to treasure him, amen. amen. Because there are few men of God, amen, amen. that can stand the test of time. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. True prophet of God. Amen. And by the testimonies and all that you have experienced in this ministry, no doubt you are convinced, like I am convinced, uh, that Prophet Junior is truly a prophet and a servant of the most high God. And the Bible let us know that these men of God, they are deserving of double honor. Praise the name of Jesus and I thank God to be a part of this tremendous service. Amen. The prophet appreciation service. Amen. And to be in the midst. Amen. To appreciate this anointed man of God with you all tonight. Amen. So at this time I want to call Prophet Junior. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh glory, glory, glory. And God has truly called this man, amen. And God 
in the earlier verse, amen, in Matthew 10, 14, he said that, he was telling his disciple, he who receive you, he was speaking to the, to the disciples, and no doubt he probably rests his hands on their shoulders, and saying, he that receive you, he, he receiveth me, and he who receiveth me, receiveth him who sent me. Amen. amen. So when we receive the prophet, amen, we show Christ that we receive him and we receive God who had sent him. Amen. So on tonight, praise the name of Jesus, I truly thank God for his man servant tonight. Amen. amen. Praise the name of Jesus. And I want to be the first, amen, if it's all right with the prophet, amen, to appreciate prophet tonight. <coughs> Somebody put your hands together. So Prof, praise the name. I want to let you know you have been an inspiration for me in, in ministry. I watch the way that you are dedicated to the things of God. And I am inspired, amen, to do more. Amen. I'm inspired, amen, to, 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 to go the more excellent way. Amen. And following your footsteps on tonight, I'm most honored to be a friend, a fellow minister. Amen. Amen. I take this opportunity to give you this small token as a indication of my love and appreciation Amen. for what God is doing in your life. Amen. Amen. Do this as quick as possible. Amen, somebody. Amen. Remember, amen, when the woman that could not have a child stopped to honor Elijah. Amen, somebody. Day by day by day. Amen, somebody. The, the Lord told Elijah, ask the woman, what do you want? Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. And what you are, as you honor into the anointing of what God is doing. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. You are storing up for your day of need. Amen, somebody. So as you come and go to this, bless Amen. Your seed of honor. Amen, somebody. And you put a demand on what you want from God. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. So I'm going to bless you right now as you come. And you will put your seed of honor in this basket. Amen, somebody. That you will receive of the Lord before we go into communion and deliverance. Amen, somebody. We know that have been a long night. Amen, somebody. But God is here to meet you at the point of your need tonight. Hallelujah. Praise. So you can come forward tonight. That's all. Hold on, 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 hold on. We have a system in place to make it a little more easy with the congestion. Amen? We know this tonight is coming in, so we say it's a little congestion. So what we're going to do, we're going to take from the back, come up, and they're going to pass. Okay, we're going to take this side first. Amen? Let's come on, everybody on this side, you're going to come down and pass you down and you're back to your seat here. And as the scripture said, we're looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finish of our faith. Praise I want to honor God for calling me, for anointing me, for choosing me to be his vessel and his instrument in this time yeah, and in this season and for all those he have sent you tonight. Right but you are begin to honor him, begin to glorify him, begin to magnify him, begin to enjoy this whole thing. Father, I thank you, Lord, tonight, Father. I thank you for your anointing and your grace over my life. I thank you tonight as your people came here to honor you and what you have been doing through my life and what you are doing in this ministry of the anointing that I've been sent tonight. I want somebody to begin to call him by his name. Call him by his name. Tonight, as I bless your hand, amen. Put a demand on the anointing of honor. Tell you, say, put a demand on the anointing of honor. As the woman did that couldn't bear a child. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. And so much that God honored her even 12, 12 years after her son came and died. And Elijah went because of his seed of honor. There is one anointing but different administrations of it. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. So the anointing is administrated in different ways. Amen, somebody. And this service is an anointing 
of honor. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. You're not honoring the flesh and blood you see before you. You are not honoring the works of God that God has been doing for years upon years. Amen. And that sacrifice, you're honoring the most high God. As you heard, Minister Gabriel came and opened the scripture. And the scripture said, He that receive it. You receive it me. Amen. And he that receive it me, receive it him that sent me. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We want to go into our communion service before deliverance tonight. Hallelujah. We want the ushers to bring the communion tonight. And I want you to begin to set your hearts and mind, get it ready to receive Hallelujah. from the Lord. Amen, somebody. Lord. I want to thank God for each and every one of you. I want to thank God, amen, for all those who have prepared this day. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. amen. It has encouraged my heart. I appreciate your love, your support, your gratitude. Amen, somebody. Your gift, your seed. Amen, somebody. And I know why you shall not lose your blessing. Amen, somebody. Your blessing is sure. Amen. Amen, somebody. It have touched me and inspired me to continue going on and going deeper. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Glory to Jesus, Lamb of God, Lamb of God. Set your hands tonight in the same manner the Bible that He took the cup. Amen, somebody. He took the bread. He said, "This is my body, which is broken." He said, "This cup is the New Testament in my blood." When you are eating tonight, you are eating of the blessing of God. You are eating of the anointing of God. You are eating of the life of God. And because curse, every chain, every feather in your life must be broken. The scripture says, for he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are made old. Never was sickness or disease that Jesus cannot heal. The greatest physician is here. You are eating tonight. Hallelujah. Of your deliverance, of the call of your salvation, of your miracle. Believe tonight. The Bible said if we eat unworthily, it up on this cause. Many are sick and weakly amongst us, and many sleep. But I tell you tonight, if you eat with a heart made worthy by your faith and the Son of God, you are eating of your deliverance, you are eating of your blessing, you are eating of your healing. We say thank you tonight, Lord. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your anointing be set as we eat tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, by faith. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get your heart and mind ready. You see, atmosphere has been changed already. You can feel the atmosphere has been changed. And the anointing is starting to build for you to receive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for all the ministers. We thank God for Minister Gabriel being here. We thank God for Amen. Uh, Minister Leo, Apostle Billy. We thank God for the pastor and founder of the ministry, Apostle Clyde. Amen. We thank God for every leader, every member. Amen, somebody. Most of all, we thank God uh, for the Holy Spirit and for the Son of God being present here tonight. It was for this purpose. The Son of God was made manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Glory to Jesus. Lamb of God, you can sing with me tonight. We need that Jesus today more than ever before. We need to pledge allegiance to Him. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Spirit in life, if you were 
Yeah.
and he broke it. Break it in two events. And he told them, take eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do remembers of me until I come. We are remembering the works of the Son of God. He said, I am the bread of life that came down from heaven. Believe what you are eating tonight is not just mere bread, but the, the body of the Son of God. The life of God entering into your spirit, entering into your soul, entering into your being. And whatever is not of God must come out. Say, whatever is not of God, as I eat of the body of the Son of God, must come out of my life, must come out of my home, must come out of my family, must come out of my situation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you. For your body. Let's eat together tonight. In Jesus' mighty name. Take the cup of the knife, put it in your right hand. Jesus, the Word became flesh, became the cup for us, the vessel for us. When John saw him, he said, Behold the Lamb of God, and take it away the sins of the world. The blood of Jesus, somebody said, The blood of Jesus. May no devil can do me no harm. May I
this sickness, uh, disease, uh, come out uh, and be poisoned. Uh, and you might have eaten uh, and under a fed uh, by the temple of your enemies. Uh, You work on principalities, you work on powers, you work on the rulers of the darkness of this world. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen, mighty name of Jesus, open the mountains in your hand. You are not resting against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Say you work on principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world. Jesus Christ, come out, come out, come out. Say you are clean spirit, you deaf and dumb spirit, you lunatic spirit, you spirit and python. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Let me hear the church command it out, command it out, command it out, command it out. Come on, come on. Take the atmosphere in your heart. Let the word be like. In the name of Jesus, I'll just get those that I believe to your left, get them to your left. Those that God have healed, their pains have left them, their infirmity have left them. In the name of Jesus Christ. You spirit of fear, you spirit of dog, you spirit of unbelief. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Let's hear the testimonies. Let's hear the testimonies. God wants your faith, not your tears. Only faith pleases God. By your stripes we are made whole. Tell the neighbor say, God wants your faith. Not your tears. There can be tears of faith and tears of despair. Ask the neighbor say, what type of tears do you have tonight? Faith pleases God. Faith moves God. Amen, somebody. In the name of God. Jesus Christ. Bring him up, bring him up. Look at the spirit on the ground that have crippled this man, crippled this family. Get the mic next to him as you see the manifestation of the evil spirit. Let's hear, let's hear a testimony in the meantime. So back pains, all your pains have gone. Give it to Jesus tonight. Come on, keep your miracle. Keep your miracle, church. Come on. Who has a miracle? Come forward, come forward if you have a testimony. Come forward. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. So if you have pains, so it's going to leave tonight in the name of Jesus. Bring it. Look here. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Cows! Spirit of suicide, spirit of depression. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ouch! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Cows! By the power of the Holy Ghost. Be free! Be free! Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ! Holy Ghost, fire in the name of Jesus Christ! Loose him and come out! Come Somebody shout that bitch is not a fake! By the power of the Holy Ghost, right now. 
unclean spirit. Mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give God some praise tonight, church. Come on, come on. Give me the we get a band touch your toes. We get a band touch your toes. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Check it as if you can do any pain when she's doing that. Let me hear you, sister. What's your testimony? Yes. While I was sitting, I said before we prayed, yes. I had a pain on my right side. Here. Yes, I prayed on your right side. Yes, I am. When I came for prayer. Yes, in the left side. While you are coming up, what yes. side they hear you? Come on, somebody, give it to Jesus. 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 She didn't get no more pain carrier to testify. Come on. Tell, make sure to check. Make sure to check. Somebody said he's my healer. He's my healer. And you pay this stuff. Give God some praise. How, how many days you have in your space in your stomach? Huh? How much days you have? There's pain in the stomach. Yes. About two weeks and it was getting worse. Give God some praise. not coming back. In Jesus' mighty name. So tell us every morning you said. Every morning when I wake up. Yes. Pain. Do I tell you pain? Pain like I think it's a stroke I get in. Uh -huh. You know, look, I can't sit long. I'm walking and I'm forcing to walk. Pain. You talk about pain. I came here in pain tonight. Yes. Bend your toes to the audience and see what Jesus has done for you tonight. Come on, somebody. Give it to Jesus. Somebody call him by his name. Tell him that that which is not of faith is sin. Amen, somebody. The Bible says that, amen somebody, God draws to those that has faith. He's a reward of them that does what? Diligently seek Him. I want you to find the being of a loved one in the hospital. Find the being of a loved one in the hospital when he gets up. Let's take this side here. Everyone bring this side. Come from our land of to stabilize your life. That will be a help and a strength. And will strengthen you spiritually and physically to do the work that is set before you. You've been in preparation for your work. The work has not started yet. The grace, the anointing is going to be given for you to do the work. It's coming as you hold on, as you remain faithful. It shall overtake you swiftly. And say the Lord. That you wouldn't have room to put what he's about to say. In your spiritual life and in your physical life, behold the Lamb of God. The increase his name. Mighty name of Jesus. As he goes to possess the things you have called him to possess. Oh God, the blessing, the increase, the job offers, the things he's been praying for, and he's starting to build, and the devil will not be able to destroy and cut and it's time to crumble, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as your servant, Father. Oh, that the power of the Holy Ghost. Jesus, mighty name. By faith, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. As the anointing is growing with him. See, the anointing is growing with him. That will go from sister to brother to mother. That tap mind and body. We are breaking here tonight. The mighty name of Jesus. We are breaking here tonight. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. The anointing of deliverance. Break the yoke and the power of the Holy Ghost. Jesus Christ. Tell the university of faith qualifies you. Uh, for your miracle. There's a family that came here on Wednesday night with a young child. I took time to pray in the spirit for God to reveal Amen to And some people can miss their miracle. They can miss their breakthrough. And I don't know if you are here tonight, but it's the night the Lord decided to reveal to me and to show me not what they are saying, but what really is happening. So let's search and see if they're here tonight. If they are here tonight, then they have lost out. People think that they can meet men of God anytime and God gonna do it. It doesn't work so. They can pray with you. But salvation is of the Lord. 
healing is of the Lord. He rewards them that diligently seek Him. That's why, amen, that tonight is their time. Tonight is this family time to break, to uproot, to destroy, to mash up the works of the devil. Jesus said, upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. This spirit came through, through money transfer with an individual. Amen. People can mount up finances, mount up money. Amen, somebody. Amen. This young lady was in a hospital. Doctor said that a, a mental issue. Amen, somebody. But really, the spirit your blow to drive her to madness. Amen, somebody. Amen. We are living in a time of witchcraft, sorcery, necromancy. Amen. We see so many people sick in the hospitals. Amen. Swine flu. Amen. We got to be covered. We got to have the anointing. Come on, somebody. Because you could be laid up in a bed of affliction. Come on, somebody. Amen. That's what the Bible said. Whosoever is a a friend of the world is an enemy of God. We cannot serve God and the world at the same time. But it was for this purpose. Somebody shall it is for this purpose. The Son of God is made manifested and he shall destroy the works of the devil. That's why you got to be under the right covenant, the right anointing. People that can pray for you. People that can stand in the gap for you. People that can assist you and drive out the darkness. That's who God has called. God has a Amen, somebody. In the time of trouble, fancy words can help us. The letter can help us. It's the spirit, the spirit, and the power. Hallelujah. Amen, somebody. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. We come under the evil. We destroy. We shatter. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Loose the Lord. We command peace to this man in this heart. And you're going to get some anointed oil for me. Get a bottle of trouble, some. Amen. And then they would anoint themselves for three days straight with it. And prayers of family that cover them. And what is coming out tonight will not return. The power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Sing, oh, Sanna. Sing, oh, Sanna.